Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cartier Fragrance. I'm Carissa, and Tierney's not here today because she is going to a football game. So I decided to film in my bedroom away from our loud, wonderfully noisy dogs. Um, I do love them, but they can be a pain in the butt. So if you hear them barking, that means the cat is probably outside or maybe the UPS guy is dropping off something. No perfume for me. I haven't ordered anything in a while. But today's video is about a very special fragrance to me that is from an independent perfumer. And I did first discover this house and the scent about maybe eight to nine months ago on Instagram. I'm very bad with timeline timeline so if it's actually longer than that I'm sorry. But um some of my favorite YouTubers and friends on Instagram such as Marcy and I believe was it Claudia Nyree? I'm not sure but there was a few ladies and a couple men that loved this fragrance. So I decided to blind buy a bottle and I'm very happy that I did. So this fragrance is a disco by Zernel Gilly from Chicago and he does have another one coming out that is going to be techno inspired by techno music so this oh, this is so good this is so beautifully blended and so smooth this has notes oh it also has a magnetic lid which I always love and I have put a quite a dent in that already oh jeez. so this has notes of bergamot lavender jasmine grapefruit saffron cardamom tea tobacco amber cedar myrrh patient Patience, yeah, patience is in there. Patchouli and vanilla bean. So to me, this opens up, of course, very bright and citrusy. And then I think the magic is in the tea and the tobacco combo. So it is very warm and evocative of like either a good time out or for some reason I thought of like glam roller skating. And by that I mean in the 70s, people used to like go out roller skating and they would go, of course, to the disco, the discotheque to be correct. And they would just have a good time and they looked beautiful and, and awesome doing it. So this to me is like, could be a party fragrance if you're going out in town, or it could be kind of, I find it also relaxing and kind of grounding and calming at the same time. So I just love supporting either independent perfumers or niche houses that don't have a lot of hype. And me and Tierney, that is part of our goal on this channel, is to bring light to fragrances that don't get a lot of hype. Although I will say if you're in the fragrance community, you probably have heard of Disco. Okay. So I just, yeah, I just can't get over how smooth it is. So definitely give that a try. And Disco is actually now on Lucky Set. You can find it on there for, I believe, $90 for, I think this is a 30 mil, but don't quote me. All right, so that is something I've been wearing a lot here in uh, Northeast Pennsylvania. It is fall, but it's supposed to be in the 70s at the end of this week, which I'm not happy about because as you guys know, I love fall, I love the chilly weather, and 70 is way too hot for fall. <laughs> okay, so the other things I've been wearing a lot of is actually my Old Factif October box. So for this month we had Vertical Oud by Hermetica, which I love. Um, the scent doesn't last very long on my skin, unfortunately. It lasts longer on my clothes. Of course, someone's like, oh, she's filming. Let's cut our grass. <laughs> if you guys heard the um, lawnmower next door, just ignore that. So this is very good. Um, the notes in here are, one of the cool things I love about Old Factif is you get little cards. So. Vertical Oud is from Hermetica, a Parisian brand of molecular fragrances inspired by the ancient practice of alchemy. The keynotes in Vertical Oud are Oud, raspberry, rose, leather, and saffron. Okay, so for me, I feel like the leather and the Oud, the Oud is a clean mineral Oud. It's not like a barnyard Oud. It's not very, it's not stinky. Um, so yes, this is very good. The other thing about Hermetica is that they are water-based fragrances, not alcohol. So you can actually spray it safely in your hair and it won't dry out your hair. The other one I've been wearing for my box a lot, which you can tell by the sample. I just got this at the beginning of the month. And so I've been using this and my other fragrances. This is Thin De Cicle by Libertine Fragrances. Oh, this is so oddly sexy in like a very vintage Victorian way. <laughs> oh, it is a very, it's a dark, jammy, brooding rose that is definitely vintage without being old lady or stinky. And the nose behind this is... Okay, so this is created by Joshua Smith. So the black currant rose, patchouli, and oak moss, but I would not say this is a Shepra. Oh, it is so good. Okay, so the story behind this is dark, floral, animalic, woody. There's jammy goodness inside this bottle. Fin de Cicle is a decidedly decadent, dark, and animalistic rose, which I think it is animalistic. It's very good. Okay, so this was a very short video. Um, one of the beauty products I just got in the mail. Today, actually, I'm very excited about this. 
Ciate and Iris Apfel has done a collaboration. Um, they have like eyeshadow palettes and blush, but I really needed a new handheld mirror for my makeup clients and for myself. And look how cute that is. Whoa. I thought it was broken for a second. I'm trying not to show the rest of my bedroom because it's, it's a mess. <laughs> There's clothes in the corner and there's like a teacup from last night on there. So anyways, I love I love Iris Apfel. I got excited, I got ahead of myself there. She is, I think, 101 and she's just fabulous. I love her accessories, she overdoes it, and I love it. I'm all about that. So that is your beauty product for the day. If you know, you should always do your makeup in front of a window so that you can see yourself in natural lighting, okay? So I think that was our video. Oh, before I forget, thank you for subscribing. If you are a new subscriber, if you're not, please consider subscribing. I'm putting together a fabulous 100 subscribers giveaway, but we have to hit that first. We're at 82, I believe. So at the end of this month, which is coming up soon, me and Tierney are gonna be doing a gothic bridal fragrance video, which I'm so excited about. I have been curating some really fabulous scents that would be gothic bride, okay? We're not really into like witch, we're not really, we're not into witchcraft or new age stuff, but I feel like gothic is not just a lifestyle, it can be a art form as well. So these fragrances are going to be fabulous, I'm really excited about that. Alright, that's all, have a good night, bye!